and its beautiful shop houses and narrow lanes are the ideal setting for the next in thing in dining. In the past few years, I've noticed a significant shift away from the usual big restaurants in high traffic areas. In fact, there's a trend for more smaller and intimate environments and locations, like this one here in the back streets of Tanjong Pagar. I'm told there's a really good Japanese restaurant here, and it's called The Flying Squirrel. Tucked within a tiny lane of Amoy Street is a flying squirrel. It's so small, it's easy to miss. But that hasn't stopped this new resto bar and cafe from packing the place with fans who come to this cozy hideaway. The charm of, of, of an old shop house is very unique and that's why we thought that um, that would fit, you know, for a Singapore context of a Japanese hide, hideout, a hole in the wall. It's a hole in the wall, and that's why customers love it. Like so many young entrepreneurs in Singapore today, Angelina was inspired by her experience overseas. I got this idea for Melbourne because I used to study there and live there for six years. And you know, Singapore used to be very much everything like big restaurants, everything very much um, um, very big scale. So has, has a lot of people come back um, from the travels, or even from their studies from overseas. More and more people are starting to appreciate uh, smaller things, uh, smaller establishment, things that are more um, like a hideaway, something secretive, something that is not commonly found everywhere else. But places like the Flying Squirrel don't survive this long in Singapore on cool names and atmosphere alone. You've got to serve good food, great food, and an overall excellent experience. The Flying Squirrel is an unusual name for a Japanese restaurant, but that's a great thing about this place. There's nothing predictable about it. Not the name, not the location, and definitely not the atmosphere. And best of all, not the food. It's just unique. The place might look quirky, but the food is serious. Edmund, the Japanese trained chef, serves up a mean sushi roll platter with six different toppings. I've seen and tasted enough in my lifetime to know that this is a real deal. Only premium ingredients flowed in from Tokyo for a wonderful mid-afternoon meal. Hot dishes are also served. Some Japanese specialties you might want to try are their chicken karaage, deliciously deep-fried. Or the house bestseller, grilled, moist, Wagyu patties in red wine sauce, premium Japanese beef from Miyazaki. The place is open daily for lunch, and from 3 to 6 in the afternoon, it's a cafe. The coffee is hardcore, single origin and blends, expertly crafted by hand. At cocktail hour, the drinks start to pour, Japanese inspired of course. The Yumeishu Sake Mojito is a hit with regulars and a perfect match with a maki. Another must try is a Bloody Mary with Japanese tomato liquor for a more unique flavor. And in the Singaporean heat, the Yuzu Prosecco is a most welcome and refreshing treat. The Flying Squirrel is on the edge of Chinatown and it's literally a stone's throw away from its most famous street party place. <laughs> 